Hi, I'm Ace. And okay. <clears throat> let's do this again. In this series, I want to talk about some of my musings and thoughts about my time as a student developer. Um, I left school about four years ago, okay now five years, and I feel like I've learned a lot of things since then. And like they say, you can only connect the dots backwards. This is going to be a series of pretty short videos that I hope everyone will eventually find useful at some point. And it's mostly going to be based on my experiences, things I did, things I wish I should have done when I was in school. And also I managed some tricky scenarios that is probably common to quite a lot of us. So a little bit background about myself. Um, I studied computer science at the University of Illinois. Uh, I got admission in 2011. And at the time I got admission, I did not know how to code. Yeah, I liked computers to an extent and I actually chose computer science because I wanted to you know, learn more about stuff. And truth was, I actually wanted to build an um, holographic game for Yu-Gi-Oh! That's like the deck game and you know, bring it to life and that was one of the reasons why um, I wanted to study computer science. Eventually I came across code. Um, I had genuine passion for code, like I wanted to learn how to code um, without even knowing that there were like financial ramifications behind it. So yeah, I learned how to code. I had a couple of challenges eventually in school, balancing both my academics with my coding and even also learning how to code without owning a laptop by myself. During my stay in school, I was also lucky and privileged to be part of quite a number of communities. I participated in quite a number of competitions. I also won um, NACOS, that's National Association of Computer Science Students, Program of the Year twice. This is um, an exhibition that is unique to each department across schools in Nigeria. So um, I would say I've had quite a bit of my share as a student developer back in the days, and even one that wanted to start a company at some point. So I'm going to be sharing this entire experience as it comes to me. Short videos, nothing too stressful, nothing too you know consuming for you guys to take parts of it and just you know apply it to yourself, especially if you're still in school. So without taking too much of your time, I hope you enjoyed this series and I'll see you in the next video.